both within 10 minutes of putting them up. What's that tell you? I sold them too cheap. Crazy, right? We've had a lot of people ask, is this VHS tape craze real? And yes, it is. All right, everybody, Mike, Golden State Picker, Saturday, in the garage, got to have a video of what we found, what we sold. We've got a really cool article. Stick around for the article because it pertains to something I did about five, six, seven months ago and made really good money. And I'm going to talk about this article, which is going to tie you into that. We're going to talk about a rant that I have. Okay, not long. Some of you are going to know what I'm talking about. A lot of you are going to know what I'm talking about. You know we're different here, right? We just don't do uh, out in the field, flea markets, garage sales. We take it inside. We do a little different, all right? We're going to talk about uh, books. We're going to talk about you know, just everything that you know that I do, from Amazon, FBA books, to eBay. We'll talk about it all. That's how this channel is, okay? All right, hey, what is your rant, Mike? Well, today's Saturday, and today's garage sale Saturday. So we, me and my son, we go out garage sailing, and I've got this one pet peeve. Uh, if you have this pet peeve, I want to hear the comments down below, because I don't know. I live in California. Now, this would really suck if I was in a rural, more rural area and chasing this down, and it went to nowhere. And that is the garage sale that leaves its signs up from the prior week, the week before that, and the week before that. And you're driving around and you see the signs and if you're not smart enough or savvy enough to realize hey that sign's been up for two weeks or three weeks or whatever and you drive and you can't find it or there's no garage sale out in front of it and it, you just rip your hair out and you waste your time your fuel everything i can't stand that that drives me up the wall here it is, and it, you know, I'm not politically correct in this channel a lot because I'll let you know how I feel. I call it being flat lazy, flat lazy. That means you put your signs up. When you're done with your garage sale, go get your signs. That's what I do. I get every one of them. I know exactly where they're at. Now, I can hear people out there going, well, maybe they forgot one. Okay, so the one that I saw today that had four, what do we call that? You know, what do we, what do we say that to that, right? When you're doing a garage sale, it helps that you put the date that the garage sale is. You can have your address, but the date is so important because that, well, at least if I drive up to it and I see it says 517 and here we are at uh, 524, that helps me a little bit, okay? But when you don't do that and we drive around and we find nothing, you're wasting our time. I mean, I, I just don't understand uh, the mentality now anymore. It's like nobody cares. It's like, ah, oh, just leave them up. We don't have to take them down. How about I saw this one today? It was huge, so big. And it was left on a major streets pole with the date and the address. And it had been two weeks, two weeks. They had to drive by and see that sign every day because it had, they had to. Just, just thinking to myself, that's on the major street going to their house. And they don't take it down. Don't take it down. The other one, there's one more about garage sales. And that is the professional garage seller. Now, I know in my, at most cities, they have rules that you just can't have a garage sale every other week or every week. And that one drives me crazy. And I have gotten pretty good at recognizing what I call the professional uh, garage sale. Okay. Um, A-frame signs, that kind of tips me off. Uh, just know who they are, what areas they are. I have this one particular lady. I have actually bought something from her originally. Stop going to her because she continually has this garage sale over and over. And that drives me up the wall because you're driving along and then you realize, hey, I've been here and that upsets me too. So there's my garage sale rant. Let me know if you have more about garage sales, what you think <laughs> drives you crazy because that definitely sets me off. All right. Now, before we get into what we found, let's talk about the article. The article is super, super cool. And a friend of mine sent it to me. And they sent it to me because I 
sold some of these, okay? What is it, Mike? What is it? Here's the headline. I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. Back to the Future star, Tom Wilson. He played Biff in the Back to the Future series, Tom Wilson. He is auctioning off his personal VHS collection of the trilogy and some other VHS tapes he has. Wow, how cool is that, huh? Remember me selling, if you haven't, I will put a link to the VHS tape video where I sold two VHS tapes. One was Raiders of the Lost Ark, 4500, and Star Trek Wrath of Khan, 1500. Sold them both within 10 minutes of putting them up. What's that tell you? I sold them too cheap. Crazy, right? We've had a lot of people ask, is this VHS tape craze real? And yes, it is. Uh, I know that Kevin the Commonwealth Picker has sold many. And if you sold some, let me know in the comments because I've heard other people who have sold them. I'm always on the lookout for sealed brand new VHS tapes. Doesn't mean every one is worth something. There is something a little different about each VHS tape that can distinguish them from being a $4,000 tape to a hundred to a 50 to a $5 tape. So it's all over the map. You got to do a little bit of work, but once you start to see the titles we're talking about here, you'll know what you're looking, well, kind of what you look out for. But it was interesting to read that uh, he's talking about Wilson introduces his pristine shrink wrap VHS collection of Back to the Future trilogy sent to him by MCA studio. Okay, so he got he got this when he was, you know, on the doing the movie, they sent it to him. It also incorporates a VHS copy of the documentary Inside Secrets of the Again to the Long Run trilogy, to the trilogy. All right, which was hosted by Kirk Cameron. The feeling was overpowering to rip open and look at that Kirk Cameron dude, Deadpan Wilson who performed Biff in several incarnations in the trilogy. So he's he was in all of them and he's got this VHS tape collection. Now he's auctioning it off, right? So uh, let's take a look. So down here he's talking about um, uh, what he has. So it says here, Wilson's offering some of the most coveted titles involve Ghostbusters and it's currently sitting down at, well, I think he's auctioning it off at Heritage, some uh, not eBay, it's going somewhere else. It's sitting at $6,500 for a Ghostbuster sealed. He has draws, gremlins, uh, a beta copy of Goonies that is now at $5,000. Betas are even better. Beta tapes. He's got Star Wars, Friday the 13th, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. So he has several. Sounds like he has a lot. And this is now a new segment that is kind of collectors are looking at these. They're very secretive, very quiet. Um, they don't make a lot of noise. They don't want to make a lot of noise because I know the two that I sold, I got no feedback on. Nothing. There was nothing. They don't even, they're just kind of laying low. And so those two guys are probably watching my eBay store to see if I ever come across something else. So that's really, really cool, right? They're out there. Check out Instagram. Check out uh, other sites, Facebook Marketplace. Look around a little bit. You can find VHS tapes, and you find the right one, you'll make some good, good money. All right, that was cool. I love that article because that definitely hit home for me. All right, let's get right into what we uh, what we found. We've talked about it over and over right here. The books, the books, the books, the books. I'm doing, I, I did an FBA uh, book video, redid it. Take a look. I'll put that in the description down below if you want to know how to sell books. It's a long video. It's been redone. And I go through step by step how I sell books on Amazon FBA, the hardware I use, the software I use. Take a look. It's very interesting, especially if you're new to selling books on Amazon FBA. We went to, let me get this open here. Where are we at? Uh, we went to a garage sale. <laughs> yeah, okay. Went to a garage sale. I picked up uh, these book sets. Okay, I'm going to show you one. This one here is, what is this one? This one is, oh my God. This is a Magic Treehouse. Now, the Magic Treehouse 
will net, I'll always put up the scout IQ. So when you see it up here, if you're new, it shows you the net. The green number up there is after shipping, after everything, that's what I take home. I'll tell you how much I paid for all these books in a second. This is uh, the Treehouse one. It sold for 35, it didn't sell yet. It will sell for $35 on Amazon. Net profit for me, net profit for me. All right, up next is Magical Animal Friends, another little book set. This one will net me $41. Up here will come the, the little screenshot. Book sets are good. You can look at, I tell people, well, people ask, well, where do you find books? Everywhere, thrift stores, but especially garage sales, you pick up stuff like this and you'll see how much I paid for it in a second. 41 net profit there. Here's another one, Bad Kitty, all from the same place, Bad Kitty by Nick Bruel. Bad Kitty will net me $21, $21. That'll come up there too. And this is a good one to find. Uh, Geronimo Stilton's a good collection if you can find him. And this is uh, the Ramona collection. And this is Ramona uh, Beverly Cleary. And this one is only seven. I say only seven net profit, still very, very good. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, some, um, so these right here, these four book sets I paid $15 for, 15. They are worth a net profit of 104, okay? So you can see, you can, I, I might've been able to get these a little bit lower. Uh, but I felt it was more than fair. That's uh, about 350 each a set. That's more than fair. And uh, they will net me $104. Now, I went to another garage sale and I picked up these books right here. There are five, and I will tell you what I paid for these. Now, I'm only gonna show you two of them. Uh, this is uh, The Language of Real Estate, the eighth edition. It's gonna net me $24, so nets me 24. And this is also, uh, again, I'm into photography. If you've known me, I'm, I'm into photography, magic. I understand a lot of, you know, sleight of hand magic, not <laughs> not evil witch's magic, you know, sleight of hand, uh, pen and teller. How's that, all right? This is the Hasselblad Manual, fifth edition. This one is going to get me $27 net. So right there between those two books is $51. If you can find Hasselblad, Hasselblad gear, anything Hasselblad, top of the line, especially, I knew when I saw the book, it was worth something. Grab that, and I grabbed three other books, nothing magical, but just called Moral Clarity, uh, Light on Life, and Light on Yoga. Yoga seems to do really well. So I got these five, all for a dollar total total for a dollar. Fifty one dollars just for two of them. The other ones are going to get me, let's say 10. I know I think there's about 12. Let's call it 12. So we're talking about seventy five dollars right here in these and I paid a dollar. I got a hundred and four here. So I have about a hundred and seventy five total in these books and I've only invested sixteen dollars. And they'll all go to Amazon. They all have very good e-scores. That kind of thing means that they sell fast. I love books, guys. I love books. And they're everywhere. They're everywhere. So if you're just starting out and you just want to learn, that's how you learn. Get to these garage sales. Put in some, put in some books. And just try to get your software and your Amazon uh, monthly fees paid for until you can learn and get it rolling. And just get it rolling. Now, the same garage sale I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach. Boom. Well, this guy was sitting there. Nice Sears Craftsman plunge router. I was surprised. I asked him, he said $5. It's a no brainer. It was five bucks. I'm like, oh, sure. Now, it's missing a few things. He, he made his own plate. No big deal. And for you people who don't understand routers, this is what they call the collet. Usually there's two, quarter inch and half inch. And there's usually a wrench that goes here didn't have either one doesn't matter this is a half inch collet so I will have to make sure I tell people that that is a half inch collet and it's missing the plate which is no big deal it's all about this router what type of router is this router it is a plunge router that means when you put the router down like this and it's released it will push you can push the router down or do a plunge cut 
That's the difference. That's a plunge router. And you usually can tell a plunge router, I, I'm not saying all the time, but by these handles. It just, I don't know, I just think of that uh, as it is. And you can kind of see this little accordion effect here, because if I loosen this up, see, I don't know if I can do it here or not. I might have to, I got the other side. There we go, see it? That's a plunge router. Oops, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you push down and it plunges. Hopefully you learned something, there you go. That's a plunge router. Oh, I, t I tell you, you learn something new here every day. That's what I want. I want people to learn one or two things from every video. Take from that and build on it. That's how you learn. I learn from other people, you learn from me, and we're one big happy family. All right, you've seen me do these over the time, over the years. Kodak carousel projector 4600 standing at a garage sale and I said, how much? And the lady goes, how about $10? I didn't say anything. She took about five steps walking away from me kind of, and she goes, $5. And I took it for five. I was still gonna take it for 10, but she's the one, she took a walk, literally five or six steps, and she said $5. Now, untested, uh, generally speaking, most people did not run these 24-7. This one's in pretty good looking shape. Now, uh, it's gonna help me if that lamp works. If that lamp works, I'm in good shape. It has one reel, uh, so that's good. Does not have the manual, unfortunately. Not the end of the world. This is 75 to $100, okay? I've seen them go higher, but I'm giving you a more of a conservative uh, estimate. I, I try to do that here. I don't wanna just inflate everything and you guys go, ah, this guy's crazy. No, that's about where it's gonna sit, so. Should be a really, really good uh, sell. All right, saver time. Four dollars for savers. And what is it? It's my favorite guy. It's my favorite guy. Somebody tell me when I tell you, who is Ronco? Did I hear Ron Popeil? Who's Ron Popeil? He is the pocket fisherman, uh, a knife set. He is set it and forget it that kind of thing. That's Ron Popeil. He was the master of the late night infomercial selling you the Showtime rotisserie, you name it. Ron, remember his hairspray, the Ron Popeil <laughs> you sprayed your hair on? This guy's brand new. You can tell. Why can you tell, Mike? Well, you start to look at where the knives go and if there's wear, then you know it's, it's used. This is not. The logo's pristine. All of the slots are good and it will get me extra money. This is gonna be probably 55 to $65. I love knife blocks. I love Cutco knife blocks. If you find the big Cutco knife block, you're sitting at about 250. You can be 250 on that one. So keep your eye out, not all knife blocks, but there are many, especially if you can pick them up at garage sales for a buck or two. All right, uh, I gotta keep moving stuff around, guys. And eh, we'll put that there. That's as good a spot as any. Got this one at Savers. Paid $9.99. And when you're at Savers, just for a tip, when you hear me talk, I always use a discount. I always use a coupon and get at least 20% off. On Tuesdays, you get 30% off for Senior Tuesday. And uh, you'll be amazed at how many friends I have on Tuesday, uh, especially the guys who are like 21 to 25 years old. They're all my friends, or they always will talk call me dad that day. And the reason they call me dad that day is they want to use my 30% discount. Yeah. I got friends on Tuesdays. All right. The jam stick. This is cool. And this is a little, uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one yet. I might at least try it. I got I to gotta find the right cord. It doesn't have the power cord. Some kind of um, musical instrument that has an app and you can learn to play the guitar. It's got a little plug for a uh, mic for headphones, which would help me... Uh, uh, at least stay alive one night so my wife wouldn't kill me. Um, you know, <laughs> playing it through the speakers, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I, I'm getting to be 60, please remember that. All right, um, yeah, Jamstick. If I sell it, 75 to $100, I will find a power cord for it. Uh, I will keep it at first and play with it a little bit, see what happens and see if I like it. If I don't like it, I'll sell it. That's one good thing about being a real reseller, right? We find some cool stuff that we keep ourselves or we like. The problem is sometimes we keep too much stuff. 
And that's dangerous, right? That's dangerous. So we got to be very, very, very careful about what we keep. And that's me. I am very conservative on that side. Has to be something really kind of interesting for me to keep. And that is a cool item. All right, we're going to go pick this one up. Uh, I'll have to come over here real fast. Oh, my goodness. A Denon receiver. And we paid eight bucks at, at Savers. It has the remote. Uh, this one came out, they just priced it eight, but I don't even think they're testing things, it seems like. So I tested it, it works. And uh, it is not that expensive of an amplifier. It's a $100 bill plus some shipping. The remote, remember we talked about it? Remote is key. So keep your eye out for these guys. Don't be afraid to ship them. I have a shipping video that shows you how I ship these. Okay, so keep that in mind. Go watch that video. We'll go through my videos. I got some playlists and look for certain things like that. How I ship in electronics, how I talk about golf clubs, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's you know, that's how you learn. All right, I got one last item. This one is interesting. I fretted over this. I don't know why. Somebody's going to go, why did you take so long to think about that? It's just me. I'm different. Here it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? Now you're kind of knowing, right? It is a military backpack. It has the gentleman's name on it. Okay, I'll cover it up because some people say, ah, oh, you shouldn't show the name. Okay, there it is. Look at it. Military Army backpack. These things are built like tanks. What's good about the military, in general, the military, when they make something like this, is it's made to last. It has to take a rough beating, right? So she wanted $40 for it. I hemmed and hawed, and I said $25. She came back at $30, and I said, give me a second. And I was trying, you know, this is just shows you I learned something because I'm just so dingy. You know, so here I am, I'm looking at it like this, and I'm like, well, the water's going to get in there, you know, in my head, right? It took me a second to figure it out. Well, that's the rain section there. It folds over and latches down and latches down. Uh, you know, sometimes you're out there in the heat, and you're 60 years old, and your brain just kind of, it just takes a little, just flat lines, flat lines. I figured it out. $30, I'll take it. Um, some of these military backpacks can go for quite a bit of money. You know, um, I don't know, I'm gonna say this one's between two and $300. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'll do a little bit more research. It's in really, really good shape. So $30, uh, it's gonna sell. And that's the great thing, guys, if you think about it, when you're doing reselling, is especially stuff like this, you'll get your money back and you're gonna make money. It's just how much are you gonna make? And you know, how long is it gonna take to sell? That's pretty much it. And that's it in a nutshell. If you buy something good and cool, that is good and cool, it's going to sell. The router is going to sell. We just have to find the right price. We don't want to buy stuff that we sit on. Those are called bricks. We don't want bricks. I got a lot of bricks. But a lot of people have a lot of bricks, and we learn from that. All right? So I got to cut right here just so I can get you some things that we sold. We'll go through those really fast so we keep the video moving. And we'll show you. I got, hey, stick around. I got a couple items that are going to be a little bit surprising for you. You're going to think, whoa, wow, that was pretty good. All right? Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Let's take a look at what we sold. Now, if you know me, I'm going to give you the totals, and then we'll go through it. The total here is $1,100 for these items. We have one, two, three, four, five... Eight items, $1,100. That's over $800 average selling price per item here because we have one that really pushed it over, but it still helps your average selling price. My average selling price is right around $75, okay? I average how many items a day do I sell? On average, eight. That's it, eight. And if you watch some of my older videos, you see how much I made. All right, let's get this party started. Let's talk about this guy everybody everybody should know this this is toner brother the famous tn350 the key to tn350 by brother is what sealed yes sealed the tape cannot be removed or opened in general you'll get more money for that but there's a reason for this as soon as you put this online which I did. I put it online for $49.95 free shipping. I must have got five or six 
toner resellers sending me offers. They didn't send me $40 offers. They sent me $25, $20 offers. It's so obvious. I'm not trying to sell it to them, period. Okay? Because the first thing they're going to tell you is it must be completely sealed. Then they say you must ship it in another box. All that kind of stuff. That's the ink toner and ink world. That's how they work. And unless I have three or four and make a deal with somebody like that, not happening. Just not happening. They are ultra, ultra picky. So beware. Make sure your seals are good. If they are, you'll get good money. I put this up for $49. I sold it for $45 free shipping. A little bit of patience, and they sold. So toner can be very, very good. All right? Next is this little crazy contraption. It's called Nexi. Three axis universal smartphone adapter. Uh, it does all kinds of weird captures, images through your binocular, telescope, microscope, and more. Interesting thing, brand spanking new, Honey Hole Thrift Store. I think we got this from. We didn't pay more than probably three or five bucks. Sold for $55 plus free shipping. And you're going, Mike, why do you do free shipping? There is only a couple of times when I do free shipping, and that is when the listing is dictating that to me and I don't have much room. There's no real room on the toner. There's no real room on this. And this next item you'll see also, there's no real real room. I just can't deal, I have to, I have to deal with that free shipping in their mind, and that's how it works. Very rarely, it's about 97, 98% of the time, I have a dollar amount for my shipping. All right, up next, this I've had around for a while. I had about 20 of these over the past couple of years, COVID hit and soccer, all sports went right down the toilet. And this is a four header, full 90 performance head guard. The black ones all sold really quickly. This is a navy blue one. Didn't I, I had to get rid of these. These are now $22 plus free shipping. It's gonna cost me seven. I'm not going to make much money, but I'm moving this out. To sell us at a, at a garage sale, difficult. So I lowered the price to hopefully blow those out. That's how that works. Bought a lot of them. They came from the Goodwill. I do remember that they came from the Goodwill. This came from the Goodwill. I think I paid $2 for this album. And this guy here is Japan Exercising Ghost. I sold several of this band. And I took an offer on this one. It's $14. I sold it for $14 plus $6 shipping. Moved it out. Made good money. You know, so let's say you make four times your money, five times your money. That's good. doesn't matter if it's $2. Hopefully, it's $10 you're making it or $20 or $30 or something like that. That's cool. But it all adds up at the end of the year. At the end of the year, we put our bottom line numbers down. This counts just as well as everything else. You just keep grinding. We tell you that over and over. It's just a complete yearly thing. Think of it that way. Don't think of it, oh, I need it now. No, just let it go. It will get there. It will get there. I promise you. I promise you. All right. You know I love me some Bibles. And I get them out of my bin of books. Or you can get them at garage sales everywhere. But I got this one out of the bin of books. Amplified Bible. I got it. And I sold it right away. Priced it very strong. I think it has a little bit of highlighting or underlining in the back section. It wasn't much. There was a little bit in here that I, that's one thing you got to dig out is you got to, yeah, there it is. You can see there's some underlining there. You got to kind of look through here. You don't want to make the mistake and say there's no writing or anything in it. And then they get it and they go, wait a minute, John 316. Great, great verse. John 316, that is a, that is, oh, I'm almost there. Let's see if they underline John 3.16. No! So John 3.16, For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his only begotten unique son so that whoever believes in, in, trusts in, clings to, relies on him, shall not perish, come to destruction, be lost, but have eternal everlasting life. That's how the Amplified Bible says it. I'm used to the King James Version, so there you go. Me, King James. But that's the Zondervan Amplified Bible. And they didn't have John 3.16 highlighted. Hmm, interesting. What did it sell for? Did I say $70 plus $7 shipping? There you go. Very, very interesting. Oh, where do we go next, Mike? Oh, 
this lovely thing. My wife is so happy. She saw me carrying this out to the garage and she goes, finally? And I said, yeah. This thing was kind of a little decorative piece we had by the fireplace. And then it finally, she got fed up with it and it ended up in a closet. I have to remember. You got to remember, I don't know if you have a spouse like I do. She's great, but I have to think like her sometimes. Where would she put that? And so I found it. It was in a closet. It wasn't in the garage or given to me and said, get this out of here. It was hidden in a closet, but I managed to find it. It's a Murano glass, so out of Italy. Oh, it's a beautiful bird. I could not sell this for the life of me. I must have had this for a year and a half. I finally just said, screw it. I'm going to get rid of it. $30 plus $20 shipping. So goodbye. Good riddance. Now I got to package it. And it's a little tricky because of that tail. We'll see. Let's see how we come up with that. Uh, all right, let's go into this one here. I'm going to have to just show you the picture because I'm not going to take it out of the box. Remember Jim Shore? Bingo, bingo. There's Jim Shore. We sold it. This one is, I think it's called, oh my goodness, Mike, uh, A Gift of Love. I will put the ad up here that it sold for $95 plus $30 shipping. Jim Short just got this stuff recently. I bought it off my friend Tyler who didn't want to deal with them. And so I'm going to try and sell them. It's going to take me a while. Not going to be easy over time. Maybe towards Christmas, I'll get rid of a few more. Slow, slow sellers, but... I want to get my money back first. So 95 is about halfway there. So I need a few more to actually get all my money back. I will. I will eventually. All right, up next. The piece de resistance. I think I got everything else. Yes, I got everything else. Uh, these guys. Boom. What are they? Everybody goes, what are they? If you've watched some of my videos, you probably have seen these, hopefully. These are pipettes. And um, this is a Via Flow and an Integra. They're both basically the same. But I'm going to give you a little pointer of what they are and kind of how you have to know certain things. Uh, they have what they call channels, okay? That means uh, these are individual channels, okay? This is an eight channel because there are eight of them. This one is a 12 channel. And they when they when this thing powers on, they move in and out, okay? And they go and they go into pipettes, that kind of thing, and solutions, all of that. The key is to know that there are eight channels and 12 channels, so you get that part of the ad correct. You don't mess up with it. Now, they didn't have chargers, but they have battery life in them. They work. Uh, the pipettes move and do all what they should do. So very cool. We got these at the Honey Hole Thrift Store. Um, I don't know how these things end up being donated, but they did. 30 bucks is what we got them for. Pretty, I'm almost positive. We sold them a pair for $780 plus $40 shipping. I thought I'd get a little bit more, but a guy came to me and bought both. And I said, here you go. 780 bucks plus $40 shipping. The key here, what do we do? We get a signature on these. Even though there were two separate purchases, we gotta make sure we get it signed for. This is a big ticket item. You don't want this sitting on somebody's porch and get it stolen. So you build that into your price of your shipping. I'm getting top dollar on the shipping and that's the bottom line. You've heard me talk about that. Uh, I don't, unless somebody asks for it or unless somebody is really picky about it, then I will work with the shipping and adjust it. But 99% of the time, what you see the shipping I get for, I get it. This is time, this is effort. This is box, this is, again, bubble wrap, tape, you name it, okay? So remember, your time is money. Do not be afraid to get some money on the shipping side. All right, there you go, that's the end of that video. Hopefully you all got it, and you like it, hit that subscribe, hit the like button, just help me out. That's all I ask is, hey, I don't beg, I just say, hey, if you like it, hit the like. If you want a few more, I don't flood your account with a video a day. I put a couple out a week right now. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, thanks. And we'll see you next time.